How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. I did something that I've never done before, which is buy a mutual fund that is not just like a Vanguard mutual fund or ETF or something like that. This is one that actually has a higher expense ratio than I normally buy. This is a ARK Invest Fund. Actually, I bought two of them. I'm going to talk to you about both of them and why I bought them, what my thoughts are on them, and how I feel about it going forward. Because ARK Invest has put up massive returns this year. It really made me think about whether I want to invest some of my retirement funds in uh, just a general index fund like a Vanguard fund that's very low expense ratio, very low cost, or whether I want to invest how ARK Invest invests. Uh, so I'll walk you through that, talk you about talk to you about everything in my thought process. If you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you guys don't mind watching through to the end too, it does help out the channel a lot. A lot of the time with these videos, I don't get as many views because it's not as flashy as like buying some hot stock or something like that. So even if you decide to just leave the phone on the table, go get a cup of coffee or something and let it play, that'd be awesome. If you guys wanna check out the Patreon and know exactly when I buy and sell different stocks, you can check that out down below. We're up to almost 1,300 people in there. And if you want four free stocks through Webull, they're running it through December 31st. I don't know when I'm posting this yet, but they still should give free stocks after that. So if you wanna check out the link down below, deposit $100, get some free stocks, that helps the channel out too. So. If you don't know who ARK Invest is, if you maybe you're someone that just got your stimulus check and you're looking for a good option to invest in. And ARK Invest is a company that has put up massive returns this year. Their, their leader is Kathy Wood. She's someone that a lot of people have heard about now because they she specifically called out Tesla and said that she put a $7,000 price target on Tesla. Now, this is before their split, so they, they were five times the price. They were around maybe a couple hundred dollars when she said that, maybe $300 or something, and she was putting a 20X target on them in five to 10 years. I forgot whether it's five or 10. And then since then, uh, people thought she was kind of crazy back then. Now, it's at about $700, which before the split was about 3,500, something that no one thought really was possible. So she got some some credit for that right up front. And then her mutual funds and ETFs have done insanely well this year. I'll show you the returns on the two that I bought. And actually, I'll even tell you how much I bought of each of them compared to my portfolio size. So I'll explain that if you wanna stay through to the end or even skip, I, I think you should definitely stay, but you can skip if you want, but uh, I'll, I'll give you the real numbers. So. Arc Invest has just disrupted everything. They they believe that mutual funds are a good way of not having to invest like index funds where you're buying some dead companies, some companies that just aren't moving, right? I mean, we can all think of a couple companies that just we don't think are going to do that well over the next 20, 30 years. They're phasing out, but they're still in the S&P 500 or in some big index funds. And Arc Invest is able to diversify the risk over, you know, 50 different holdings for each portfolio or so. So I've been tracking pretty much what they buy on a day-by-day -day basis. I've done this for months now. And I finally pulled the trigger and bought some of their mutual funds. So I bought Arc G, which is uh, their genomic or genomic uh, mutual fund ETF. It has gone up about 178% so far this year. Then I also bought Arc K, and that one is up about 150%. Now Arc K is their largest. Arc G is their second to third largest out of their five. So it's pretty much tied for second in terms of how much they have in it. So in this one in Arc K, they have almost nine billion dollars, and that's as of the end of the third quarter. Then just looking at some of their holdings, so you have an idea of what's in there. Tesla is about 10%, Roku is about seven, CRISPR is about five and a half, then you can go down the line and see how it's all split up. With some of these smaller companies, right around 0 0.03, but they still have you know $5 million in some of these, and every single one except for the bottom three has over 100 million in it. So they, they are pretty high conviction on a lot of these companies, obviously, because they have so much in it. Now, uh, this might be pretty expensive compared to where it was before. Obviously, it's expensive. But the thing is, with with VOO or some other index fund, you are hoping that just the general market does really well. But we, what we've seen this year is there are the growth stocks that are blowing up. So 
a lot of funds, a lot of companies are just selling sideways right now. They're not really going up. This S&P 500 index is going up because companies like Netflix, Apple, Google, Amazon, those have gone up and brought up the general market. But a lot of other companies are just stagnant. A lot of them have stagnant growth compared to something like these funds where a lot of companies are going up. And I realize that this is high risk, especially because it is up so much and there is a fee for this. I think they charge anywhere between half a percent and three quarters of a percent. But I did put money in here and I put a decent amount compared to what I normally do. I obviously could put in more, but I had a deposit going into one of my retirement accounts that was the the deposit was about 10% of my total investment portfolio. So I put 20% of that deposit then in ARC G and then 20% in ARC K. So I realized that that might not sound like a lot, but I put in about 2% of my portfolio in each of these. And I plan on building this up compared to my other indexes. I think index funds take up about 30 to 40% of my portfolio. And they're almost all S&P 500 index funds. But to put in a deposit this large just in one go is uh, is kind of a lot for me. And I plan on building more on it. But uh, I think this is a good starting off point. I like ARCG. I like RK. Obviously high risk like I said, and I don't really mean that they're high risk because they're low risk compared to the general market. But the reason I picked ARK K specifically and ARK G because they actually have five to seven index funds slash ETFs, mutual funds, is ARK K is the largest. It seems very well diversified compared to some of their other funds. It's spread across multiple industries and I like that. Also, it's the largest, so it's the one that most people have the most faith in. Also, we have ARCG, which is genomics or genomic revolution, which ARC has said is what they're most bullish on or one of the things that are most bullish on in 2021. So I like that and I like the companies that they're buying in it. I, I generally have been buying some of these companies and this is this is in a sector that I don't usually invest in and I don't have as much knowledge, which is like biopharma, biotech, those kinds of companies. And ARK Invest has people that are specifically looking for those companies and have a background in it. Now, why would I invest in these as opposed to individual stocks? Well, this provides greater diversification, less risk. So that is something that I consider with some of my with some of my retirement funds so I don't have to keep up with them all the time. It's nice just to know that money's safe, but will grow pretty quickly in these types of funds. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own research, but I also think that these will get a lot of attention soon as they have been performing so well. I think more people will invest in those and that doesn't really change how the performance goes. It's not like a stock where if a ton of people start investing in these mutual funds, where it's like the mutual fund price goes up, because obviously they're just taking this money and investing in the companies. But I think they have done a really good job of showing that they are able to adapt and change on the fly. And they're able to perform really well. Now, one thing that a lot of index fund fans say is that a mutual fund company can do really well one year and just not do well the next because they might just hit it right. They might have just uh, been really lucky with a portfolio or just picked out a company that did really well. I mean, when you look at, at this portfolio, obviously Tesla has gone up a lot. They 10x over the year, but they were still able to go up a lot uh, in addition to Tesla. And every single portfolio has gone up a lot generally. So it's not like they had a one trick pony where they invested you know, 30% of their portfolio in Tesla and went up 10x. They have five or six different portfolios that have all done really well. A lot of these companies have done really well. So they are outperforming the market by about 10x because the general market only went up about 14% over the year. And if there's another sell-off in the market, if there's another crash, I think people might turn to something like ARK Invest because they have produced such a good return. And people might be annoyed with the fact that these index funds are going down and people might start investing more and more into tech because again with most tech companies they're kind of taking over the world right they're automating they're kicking out a lot of old competition so arc invest is investing in disruptive innovation which is really taken over right now so let me know your thoughts on this down below let me know if you are buying any of the arc funds i've had people reach out to me that are like serious index fund investors asking whether i thought it would be worth 
switching over some of their funds or buying some of the funds in the ARK funds. So let me know what you're doing. Let me know if you're interested in this or if you've already done it, how it's performed for you. Let me know if you just take a look at ARK and just buy some of their funds and some of their companies, I should say, uh, that are in their funds. Let me know that all in the comments below. Thank you guys. Thank you for checking out the Patreon and checking out the other links down below. If you want some high interest on a cryptocurrency account, you can check out BlockFi. I use it personally. It pays up to 8.6% APY and gives you a sign up bonus. So check that out. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And if you want to see another video on a penny stock that I bought recently that I'm pretty bullish on long term, that's up 130%, you can check out this video here. Thanks.